Psalm 12 shows to us that when godly influence on a culture ends, it does not create a neutral ground. Rather, it ushers in a godless influence. Verse 8 makes clear that when the godly cease and the faithful fear, it says there in verse 8, the wicked walk on every side, the vilest men are exalted. This is no level playing field. Verse 8 shows that the balances are heavily weighted towards wickedness. The wicked are popping up on every side. They're strutting about in every place. They're engulfing the whole of the society. They become the center of decision making. The public square revolves around their values and their beliefs. Their influence is disproportionate such that the vilest are exalted to the highest of positions. They pull the levers of power. And in his commentary on Psalm 12, Matthew Henry the Puritan says, when wickedness abounds, when it goes barefaced under the protection of those in authority, then the times are very bad. When the vilest men are exalted to places of power, who, instead of putting laws in execution against vice and injustice and punishing the wicked, instead they patronize and protect the wicked, they give them countenance and support, their reputation by their own example, then the wicked walk on every side. They swarm in all places. They go up and down seeking to deceive, to debauch, to destroy others. They are neither afraid nor ashamed to discover themselves. They declare their sin as Sodom and there is none to check or control them. Bad men are base men, the vilest of men, it is bad with a kingdom when such men are preferred. Godly influence brings a restraint to a society. Sin hides underground. But if you remove the saltiness, if you remove the savour, then sin will parade itself on the street corners. It will strut through the corridors of power. As gospel preaching and godly living become rarer in a nation, then sin also becomes bolder. Society does not remain in limbo. Either it is savoured by godly salt and light, or it decays and rottenness takes root. And Psalm 12 shows this deadly changeover taking place. David too saw vileness being exalted. He saw similar trends at work in his day that we see in our culture. Vileness is exalted when blasphemy when swearing become the common language of television and the lyrics of popular music. Vileness is exalted when sex and violence are the features of films and entertainment. Vileness is exalted when pornography is sold in magazines and newspapers and the corner shops, when it's the features of television and the internet. Vileness is exalted when homosexuality and transgenderism are promoted to children in schools under the guise of relationships education. Vileness is being exalted when politicians push through easy divorce laws that allow people to walk out of marriages for little or any reason. Vileness is being exalted when the laws of the nation legalize the killing of infants in the womb for virtually any reason and when more than 223,000 babies are aborted in a nation every year. Vileness is being exalted when school inspectors berate Christian teachers for teaching children that marriage is a lifelong union of one man and one woman. Only one generation ago, even the ungodly, even the unbelievers, would have frowned upon behaviour that is now celebrated at the highest levels of our society. A deadly changeover is taking place. But 